Welcome back guys, we will be teaching VMware Workstation today. This is version number 16 and it is a player version which is a free for non-commercial use. Uh, we will be teaching it to the students so we will be using a non-commercial version which is uh, uh, good for their academic work where they will be able to install virtual machines using VMware Workstation. Of course if you are interested you can buy the VMware Workstation Pro um, which is available on their website. Earlier we understood how to install virtual machines using VirtualBox which is from Oracle and the third tool for installing virtual machines is uh, through Hyper-V which is provided by Microsoft Windows and it comes in bundled with Windows uh, 10 Professional. Now. Um, what is virtual machine? Virtual machine is a machine that we are using it for testing purposes or uh, for production purposes but uh, for the sake of understanding um, there is a host machine on which we install this software so this, uh, the, the machine on which we are installing this software in order to install virtual machines is called a host machine. The operating system which will be installed in this software it would be a virtual machine but we call it a guest operating system. So whatever changes you will make to this guest operating system will not affect your base operating system of the host machine. If you will go to VMware website you will be able to download this free version of uh, uh, VMware Workstation Player for Windows and uh, uh, there is a full version of uh, VMware Workstation available. Uh, which is of course not free which is a pro version of it so for the testing purposes this version works perfectly fine uh, we'll download it and then we'll install it uh, one of the core requirements for this one is that you must have the latest uh, visual c++ uh, uh, downloaded on your computer so check the version either your operating system or the base host operating system is 32 bit or 64 bit so I'll highly recommend to download one of these first uh, before you install the uh, VMware Workstation Player. But one thing I forgot to mention before that before you install any virtual machine on your computer make sure that these settings of BIOS are enabled on your computer. It would be virtual technology or they call it uh, Intel virtual technology. You'll have to go to the BIOS of the computer and you'll have to enable the virtualization on your BIOS on the motherboard so that you can run virtual machines. Okay now since we have installed this uh, free version of VMware Workstation uh, we might need an ISO file as well uh, in order to install Windows 10 operating system and uh, I'll leave the links of uh, VMware Workstation player uh, in the description box further. You can download Microsoft Windows 10 enterprise version from for free from evaluation center of Microsoft. They are providing the Windows 10 enterprise 90 days version uh, for testing purposes on their website so you can download the ISO file. If you want to buy the operating system you can follow these instructions over here but since we are installing it for the testing purposes we will be uh, downloading the enterprise version of it. Once we are done I'll show you the files and uh, we'll continue with the installation. Now as you can see we have downloaded Windows 10 evaluation version and uh, its size is around about 5.2 GB and uh, it's good for 90 days for testing purposes it's Windows 10 enterprise version. So this is our interface for VMware Workstation 16 player. You'll find some options over here. Let's start from the left hand side. If uh, you are installing uh, an operating system, you'll uh, find these options over here. Uh, once we'll create a virtual machine, these options will be enabled. Uh, you can change it to a full screen or if you have virtual machines, you can simply play them by clicking this button. And of course, this one is a full screen mode. If you are creating a new virtual machine, you can uh, click over here. If you have an existing machine which you created earlier, you can browse the path of it and you can open the virtual machine from here. And of course, if you want to upgrade to VMware Workstation Pro, you can click on this one. Now, uh, keep one thing in mind that we'll be following the wizard over here and we'll end up with a problem. That's a typical problem which happens if you are installing it 
uh, Windows 10 Enterprise version using the VMware Workstation Player and then I'll show you a workaround for that. So we'll follow the steps or the wizard uh, so that you can see the error message which comes up. Uh, so of course we want to create a new virtual machine and uh, we are going to click on this one and then it would ask us that where is the file located for our uh, ISO file for Windows 10 Enterprise version which we have just downloaded. We click on this one, we'll browse to the path and uh, we'll go to uh, the path where we have downloaded and we'll double click on it. That's the problem. That's the mistake in this one. And because of that, it would give us an error message. Okay. We'll go next. It's asking for a product key. Since it's an evaluation version for testing purposes, we don't have the key available, so you can ignore it. So then we'll select Windows 10 Enterprise version from here. Uh, it's optional if you want to log in as administrator and you can provide a password for this one. I am providing my own password for Windows uh, 10 logon and then you can click on this one that it should automatically log in. Click next. Uh, it's asking for a key. We don't have it. So we'll continue like that. And then it's important. We have seen that if you're installing it in C, sometimes you end up having some issues. But to avoid that, uh, we are going to create a different path and we are going to install it on a different drive. Okay, next, I'm going to allocate 40 GB of hard drive space and then I'll store it as a single virtual disk rather than having multiple files since we won't be moving it to any other machine. This is for testing purposes, so it would be a single. So press next and uh, we can press uh, finish over here, but I want to show you if you want to make certain changes over here, you can do that. but. It, it would select the best option which suits your current configuration of the PC. So I don't recommend you changing that. These are some advanced settings. So once you're comfortable with that, you can go ahead and uh, change the settings on this one. So we'll simply press finish and it would create hard drive now, virtual disk, and then it would continue. So it would take some time. Let's pause it and we'll be back once it's done. So it's done and since we selected it that automatically power it up it's now starting the virtual machine automatically okay so here they are asking or informing you that there are some tools which are required it's recommended to install these tools because it would make it easy for you in order to manage the uh, virtual machine so i'm going to install it now Okay, the tools are installed and we'll continue and you'll see there will be an error message. It's quite typical with that's the message I was talking about. Windows cannot find the software licensing terms. Make sure that the installation source are valid. So in order to avoid that, what we can do is we'll try to power off this virtual machine. So we'll go to player and power and we'll shut down the guest. Okay, so we have uh, stopped this one, uh, which we were trying to install. We'll delete it and we'll start it over again. Now you'll delete it from the disk and we'll start it from another way. Create a virtual machine and we'll not select this option, rather we'll select this option and we'll press next. We'll say that we are going to install Windows 10 and uh, uh, enterprise version is not appearing over here. It's only 64 bit or 32 bit. So we'll select 64 bit. And then we'll go to next. We'll keep the name as it is, but we'll change the directory to our directory. We'll create another folder called VM for virtual machines. And we'll press next. Again, we'll change the size to 40 GB and to a single file. Then we'll press next and we'll finish. We'll go to edit machine settings. And now here we'll select the file manually for installation and we'll select an ISO file and we'll go to our Windows 10 file, which is an ISO file, press OK. And now we'll start the virtual machine. And as you can see, it has detected the file and let's follow uh, the prompts on the screen now. So we'll go to next and we'll install. It would ask for the agreement, so can, you can read it and then press I accept and go to next. 
and uh, since we don't have an earlier version of windows installed so we will go to custom and uh, we'll simply click next and it started installing windows so you saw that this time it didn't show us that message which appeared there before so let it complete and then we'll continue as you can see it's installed and uh, now you can use it for any testing purposes um, of course you can change the resources allocation on it uh, for example if you want to add more ram and uh, cpu power and stuff depending how much power your host computer has to allocate the resources for the virtual computer that's it for today guys thank you very much